Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a little bit of a review for you. Right here is the Harbor Freight 34 inch tool cart. This is their brand new tool cart. And over here is their old one. They still currently offer this model. I went ahead on Black Friday, picked this thing up for 500 bucks. It usually retails for about 700. So 500 bucks, Black Friday, definitely a good deal. And today we're going to do a quick little initial impressions and review of it and see how much stuff we can actually take from our old cart and fit it into the new one. So taking our first quick look at the box, every single dimension is a little bit bigger than the older model or the smaller model. The small one, this is our current toolbox setup. It's cluttered as can be. It fell over my trailer one day and it has not been the same since then. But we keep our sockets up top, some wrenches on our magnetic little trays up here. And in the drawers we have endless amounts of tools. We'll go over that here in a bit. So moving to this one, as you can see, it's a bit taller, which helps a lot. Also, it has two more drawers compared to the other model. So it allows more storage compared to that empty space underneath that really doesn't allow it to uh, allow you to store much because there's no bottom drawer. Couple little features I'll touch on real quick. I'll leave everything in the description for specifications and links to this thing is that there is a hole here in the back for power. So you can actually run power to the back of this thing and leave your little uh, surge protector here. They do sell that. Also, there's a huge locking mechanism that locks all the drawers so that way none of these drawers will open if you're moving it and don't want them to. They got the nice little rubber bumpers on the side, which is a cool feature. And the handle can be on both the left and the right side. So you can kind of pick and choose which side you want it on. We have ours on that side because that's how our old one was. Something else I really like about the new box is that all four wheels are now caster. So you can take the box and move it any direction you want compared to the older style, which had fixed wheels on one side, kind of like a shopping cart. So this allows us to move around the shop a little bit easier. So one thing I noticed right off the bat that I really did not like was the opening mechanism. This might take a little bit of getting used to. However, you can't really see it, but there's a bunch of little plastic notches underneath the whole length way of the tray. And you have to take them with your fingers and slide them to the left. And that way you can open it. You can get a little shot here on this side, actually. You can get a little shot on the side of the mechanism. So I take my fingers and just slide it over and just get it out of the way and it allows it to open. It's plastic. We'll see how long that actually lasts. Might just take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, I think there's a warranty for this thing. I'll put that on the screen here if there is. But not soft clothes, but still the drawers feel really high quality for what it is. And uh, definitely seems like a good piece. All four wheels do lock, so that's good. But like I said, I'll leave all the specifications down in the description if you want to check it out. So now it's time to dig into the box a little bit further, start transferring all of our tools from our old one to our new one, something else I ordered, I have in my little box here, are a bunch of organizers. These aren't Harbor Freight, these are plier organizers. So we're gonna be utilizing a bunch of new type of organizers for the new box. So without further ado, we're gonna get to organizing and show you the end result. So before we go ahead and actually transfer the tools over, what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually stick these little mats down. So they, not, they come with these nice little rubber mats to keep everything in place. However, what we've noticed with our old box is that whenever we're opening and shutting the drawers really quickly, those mats will eventually kind of scoot their way back to the back and it just messes everything up. So we're gonna try a little bit of 3M double-sided tape and uh, stick them in the four corners and hopefully that holds it a little bit better this time. action all right boys where do you want the old sockets front back i say back okay i know it's kind of awesome though it's gonna get a little funky here because we got our old uh extensions but the extensions can be in the back because they stick up higher than the just but just to tease a bit oh <laughs> andy <laughs> nuts <laughs> Alrighty, so we got our new Harbor Freight box pretty much ironed out. This is just kind of a start of how we're gonna go ahead and organize all our tools. We got our lovely little sockets up here in the top, got our ratchets organized. We're gonna have to go ahead and order some more organizers because we've ran out really quickly. Got our Phillips on the right side, and of course our flatheads are on the left. Got our wrenches up here with our little Ulsa tool organizers. We really like these things. We've had them for about a month now, and they've been absolutely fantastic. 
On the side, we went ahead and laid a little bit of clear bra or clear vinyl so the side won't scratch. So every time we take off and on our impact, you can see it's very clear. You can't really tell. It won't scratch the, uh, the coating of the box. These little canister holders down here, we did actually buy these separate, so they're magnetic. You take them off, stick them on, keep our brake clean, our WD-40, and uh, we're gonna add some more to that. And on the other side, we kind of have a temporary little bottle set up for our degreaser and for our water. We might move those around kind of depending on what we go with. Let me give you guys a quick little tour of kind of where we stand on day one of our new box. So first drawer, we have our plier organizers, and oh my goodness, it looks so, so good. We have three of these, just two in this drawer, one here and one over here. This is kind of the perk of the new box. So we were able to house all of these pliers that over here with our old box took up one single half drawer. Uh, is actually the second one here. Took up the entire drawer, cluttered to bits. And our new one, it's deeper. So we're able to actually stand these up. So that allows us to have a lot more space and only use a quarter of this drawer instead of one full drawer or it'd be technically like a half here. Over here, we have our scissors and our oil filter wrenches. We even put our zip ties in these plier holders and our spanner wrenches, A and wrenches, line those up, turn them vertical, save a lot of space. You can see we got some markers in the back and some uh, gasket maker. Moving down to drawer number two, we have our sockets. Like I said, everything's gonna be a little bit subject to change as we kind of move along with our box, but got all of our wrenches. We don't use all of that often, our specialty wrenches our universals and our specialty sockets kind of toward the back. And this stuff we use a little bit more often, like our wobbles we try to move toward the front. We might even move those to the lid if we need to. So that's kind of what I want to do with the box is move everything that we use more often to the front and to the top so that way it has easier access. Of course, the lower we go, the heavier stuff I want to put. So we have our hammers. Uh, these will likely get a little bit switched around again. And of course, we even use the plier organizers for these wrenches. I'm going to go ahead and look into some wrench organizers to keep them a little bit more nice and neat but so far for now, it's pretty good. These drawers keep going on and on. We have an empty one here that we'll probably fill up one of these days. We have our su supply drawer with our hose clamps. We organize these to size. They used to be all in one box, big ones, fuses even here. And then we have our little bolt nuts and bolts and little wire taps here and there. And then finally down here, this is where we're gonna keep our bucket of bolts, our miscellaneous bolts and our tow plates for our race cars. We have a big old bucket of bolts, just like everybody has in their garage. We're gonna organize it a little bit and kind of tuck that in the bottom, keep the weight low. So whenever you roll around, roll around a little bit easier. So on the back even, we have our earmuffs that we kind of tucked away. We try to keep not so much stuff on the lid so it looks a little bit nicer. Final thoughts, the small Harbor Freight box versus the brand new 34 inch Harbor Freight box, completely world of a difference here. This, this is still filled with bolts that we need to sort, but overall, all the tools are pretty much out. There's a couple wiring miscellaneous things. Everything's pretty much empty throughout the entire box. We have a couple extra uh, duplicates, but it barely even filled up any of the new box, which is absolutely insane. 500 bucks, love the cart. This, this one is about 250 or so, I think is what it was. So a little bit double, but it's a lot better, higher quality. You get a lot more space and overall probably a lot better usage for the money. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. It helps a lot more people find the video and the channel and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right?